Greetings friends, today's disassembly is a Dell. What is it? I'll tell you in the title or in some text up there, but it identifies on the bottom with a fake model number P75F, which is not really what this is. Take out all the screws and I'll catch you once all these screws have been removed. Okay, <clears throat> some of the screws did not come out. The CD drive, which is held in here, or the DVD drive rather, should slide right out. And as you can see, there are two concealed screws underneath it. Also be aware, there are two different sizes of screw that go into this unit. So, if you take the screws out, you'll find that some of them are way shorter than the others. Make sure you put them back where they belong. There appear to only really be two short ones. Uh, one goes to the DVD drive for sure. I don't remember where the other one goes, but I bet it goes here. Uh, we'll, we'll find out. Now, once you've gotten all the screws out, although these don't seem to want to come out, which is a little concerning, um, once they're out though, you can use a pry tool. I use a soft metal pry tool that the camera never wants to focus on, ever. But these are marketed as clay modeling tools on eBay and Amazon, and you can get a kit pretty cheaply. Um, I mainly just use this one tool. What we need to do is find somewhere to start prying. Now this computer is a little different. We have two different general ways that these unibody style computers go together. There are some where the keyboard is the frame, which this looks like it is since the keyboard's non-removable. There are others where the bottom is the frame and the keyboard is just a plate that lifts up. However, you don't really fully know until you start digging. So you take your pry tool and you just stick it in the seam and move it around a little bit. The goal is to get the teeth which tend to be on the plate to uh, disengage from the bottom there. And you do this by bending the plastic a bit. If you're careful you won't mar anything up. No nasty gouges. But the easiest way to get into these seams is to start somewhere away from a corner. Corners have a tendency to be very grouchy because there's more tension there. Go ahead and get prying. Now once you have enough unclipped you can basically just rip the whole thing apart which we will be doing shortly. Since I'm fairly confident that this here is just a cover and everything attaches to the keyboard. So we know that something has to be holding it. But what? Well, nothing apparently. It looks like these screws may actually be getting retained on these corners by the metal. So they are not going to fall out. But this one, I see nothing to hold this one. Anyway, we're in. And now we can see everything about this computer has been laid bare. You'll notice that this particular model has an NVMe solid state drive port and it looks like it can take a PCI Express one, which is great. It's even got a screw already in there. Here's your battery. The battery is held here, here, and here, and here. And it has a cable that you would have to pull out. This looks like a keyboard connector. You've got two memory sticks here, and this is your good old traditional hard drive. Your DVD drive actually, if you look, it goes here in the case, and it goes under the hinge. I'm going to go ahead and tighten the hinge screws while I'm in here. Any hinge screws I can see, I'll go ahead and tighten down a little bit. This one has a lot of screws. This one not so many. There's one hiding under this display cable. But the main reason I'm in here is to get this hard drive out. You could put in a solid state drive. Um, for this computer though, since it has this NVMe slot, it would be much smarter to put in an NVMe drive than a SATA drive. You could also have both at the same time. So there's four screws holding your hard drive in here. 
pretty straightforward. Get over there. They're very small screws, so it's pretty easy to drop them and lose them and never find them again. Those two need to go over there. Okay, four screws hold this hard drive in. The cable's very tight and it's under the battery. So what you'll need to do is get a fingernail in here and push gently away, push against this tab and pull the connector away on one side, same deal on the other side, and just keep gently rocking it until the connector comes free. Now we have access to the hard drive and we can remove it from this caddy. It's just four screws on the side, which is pretty typical. Four screws on the side and the hard drive will come out. So other upgrade options also exist here. You've got the RAM. Um, this computer appears to take DDR4 so you can put quite a bit of RAM in this thing. Um, I would imagine a minimum of 32 or 64. Uh, I don't actually recall what the biggest stick you can buy is at this point. Alright caddy off. Now we can do whatever we want with this drive. Um, let's cover some other installation and uninstallation and such real quick. Your motherboard is here. <clears throat> this is your CPU. It's non-upgradable, non-removable. You can remove this heat sink assembly, but you can't remove the CPU. But you can refresh the thermal paste. This is your, um, this is not your keyboard. This should actually be your display cable here. This flat cable goes over here to this board that oddly enough contains the CR2032 clock battery. I've never seen that on an external board. Very interesting choice. This is your keyboard. This is your backlight. Um, there's a Wi-Fi card here. It's just one screw and two antennas. There's a retainer that's clipped over it for the antennas. Wi-Fi antennas are terrible to put back upgrade at your own risk but you know with some work and care you can get them back on without breaking anything this particular one has two antennas so you can put a 2x2 two two card there and the motherboard it's, it's pretty straightforward disassembly once you're in this stuff is pretty easy to figure out so what I'm going to do is I actually need to do a data transfer from this drive but reassembly is the reverse of disassembly I hope that this has been helpful. Thanks for watching, and like, comment, subscribe. Consider also please funding me by going to jodybruchon.com. Links are in the description at the bottom, and you can help fund my work and keep me making more of these helpful computer repair videos. Have a wonderful day.